Angry neighbors try to shut down black boy's hot dog stand. Cops show up with unexpected offer. It was a warm summer day in the small town of Maplewood, and 12-year-old Malik Johnson was hard at work. His hot dog stand, Malik's famous dogs, was set up right outside the family's modest home on a quiet residential street. The stand was simple, just a foldable table, a sign he had hand-painted with bright yellow letters, and a small grill where he cooked the hot dogs to perfection. But to Malik, it was more than just a stand. It was the beginning of his dream. Malik had always been a determined and hard-working kid. He'd watched his parents struggle to make ends meet, and he knew from a young age that he wanted to contribute. Instead of asking for money, Malik decided he would earn it himself. He saved up for months, collecting birthday money and doing odd jobs around the neighborhood until he finally had enough to buy the supplies he needed to start his hot dog stand. At first, it was slow going. The neighbors were curious but hesitant to stop by. Malik didn't let it discourage him. He was out there every day, rain or shine, grilling hot dogs and perfecting his recipe. Soon enough, word started to spread. People began to notice the young boy's dedication and the delicious smell of grilled hot dogs wafting through the neighborhood. Little by little, customers started to come. Malik was thrilled. Each day, more people stopped by for a hot dog, and many of them returned with friends and family. He even started getting regulars, people who would come by every week to grab lunch and chat with him about their day. Malik's bright smile and friendly attitude made him a favorite in the neighborhood and his hot dogs were quickly becoming famous. But not everyone was happy about Malik's success. Some of the neighbors weren't pleased with the growing crowds around his stand, and they began to complain. They didn't like the noise, the cars parked on the street, or the idea of a business operating in their quiet neighborhood. The complaints started as grumblings, but soon enough they escalated. One afternoon, while Malik was serving a group of customers, two of his neighbors approached him. They were middle-aged, stern-looking, and clearly upset. Malik, one of them, Mrs. Thompson said, her voice sharp, we need to talk about your hot dog stand. Malik looked up from the grill, a little surprised by the tone of her voice. Sure, Mrs. Thompson, is something wrong? Yes, there is, she replied, folding her arms across her chest. This stand is causing too much commotion. It's noisy, there are cars everywhere, and it's bringing down the quality of our neighborhood. Malik's heart sank. He'd never wanted to cause any trouble. He'd only wanted to help his family and learn about running a business. But Mrs. Thompson, Malik said politely, I'm just trying to earn some money and learn about business. I didn't mean to bother anyone. Mr. Parker, the other neighbor, chimed in. This isn't about what you want, Malik. It's about what's best for the neighborhood. You're running a business without a permit, and that's against the law. If you don't shut it down, we'll have to call the authorities. Malik felt a lump form in his throat. The last thing he wanted was to get into trouble, but shutting down his stand felt like giving up on his dream. He didn't know what to do. The neighbors left after giving their ultimatum, leaving Malik standing there with a heavy heart. The customers who had witnessed the exchange offered him words of encouragement, but Malik could hardly hear them. All he could think about was how close he was to losing everything he had worked so hard to build. The next morning, Malik woke up with a sense of dread. He knew that the neighbors were serious about their threats, and he feared they might actually call the police. Still, he decided to open his stand as usual. He couldn't bear the thought of giving up without a fight. But sure enough, Just as Malik was setting up his grill, a police car pulled up to the curb. Malik's heart raced as he watched two officers step out of the car and walk towards him. The neighbors must have called them, and now it seemed like his worst fears were coming true. Malik tried to keep his composure as the officers approached, but he couldn't hide the fear in his eyes. "'Good morning, officers,' he said, his voice trembling slightly. "'Is there something wrong?' The officers exchanged a glance before the taller of the two, Officer Williams, spoke. We received a complaint about your hot dog stand, Malik, he said in a calm, measured tone. Your neighbors are concerned that you're operating without a permit. Malik's heart sank. He'd hoped that the complaints would blow over, but it seemed they had escalated quickly. I didn't know I needed a permit, Malik admitted, his voice barely above a whisper. 
I just wanted to sell some hot dogs and help my family out. Officer Williams nodded, his expression softening. We understand that, Malik, but there are rules in place for a reason. Running a business without the proper permits can lead to issues with health and safety regulations, and that's why your neighbors are concerned. Malik felt tears prick the corners of his eyes. He'd never intended to break any rules or cause trouble. He just wanted to do something good. Seeing the distress on Malik's face, the other officer, Officer Ramirez, spoke up. Listen, Malik, we're not here to shut you down. In fact, we've been hearing a lot about your hot dog stand, and it sounds like you're doing a great job. We just want to make sure you're doing it the right way. Malik looked up, surprised. What do you mean? Officer Williams smiled. We want to help you get the proper permits and make sure your stand is up to code. That way, you can keep running your business without any problems. Malik blinked in disbelief. You're not going to shut me down? No, we're not, Officer Ramirez confirmed. In fact, we've got a little surprise for you. The officers walked back to their car, leaving Malik standing there in stunned silence. A few moments later, they returned with a large box and a stack of papers. They set the box down on the table and handed Malik the papers. These are the forms you'll need to apply for a business permit, Officer Williams explained. We've already filled out some of the information for you to make it easier. And this, he said, gesturing to the box, is a little gift from the department. Malik opened the box to find a brand new set of grilling tools, a professional grade apron, and a shiny new sign that read Malik's Famous Dogs, certified by the Maplewood Police Department. Malik's eyes widened in amazement. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. You've earned it, Malik, Officer Ramirez said with a smile. You've shown a lot of initiative, and we want to support young entrepreneurs like you. But remember, the key to running a successful business is doing it the right way. That's why we're here to help. Malik felt a wave of relief and gratitude wash over him. He'd been so worried about losing his business, but instead the officers had come to help him make it better. Over the next few weeks, Malik worked closely with the police department and the local health department to get his stand up to code. They taught him about food safety, helped him set up a hand-washing station, and provided him with a thermometer to ensure his hot dogs were cooked to the right temperature. The support didn't stop there. A local business association heard about Malik's stand and offered him free coaching on how to run a small business. They taught him about pricing customer service, and marketing strategies. They even helped him design a professional logo and create custom packaging for his hot dogs. Malik's stand quickly became the talk of the town. With his new tools and knowledge, he was able to attract even more customers, and his business began to thrive. People came from all over Maplewood to try Malik's famous dogs, and they weren't disappointed. His hot dogs were delicious, and his friendly personality made everyone feel welcome. The neighbors who had initially complained about Malik's stand soon realized they had underestimated him. Instead of causing trouble, Malik had brought the community together. His stand had become a gathering place where people could enjoy good food and good company. Even Mrs. Thompson and Mr. Parker, who had been so adamant about shutting down Malik's stand, began to see things differently. One day, they both stopped by for a hot dog, and Malik greeted them with a smile. Thank you for coming, Malik said, handing them their orders. I'm glad you decided to give my hot dogs a try. Mrs. Thompson hesitated for a moment before replying. Malik, we were wrong to try and shut you down. You've shown us that you're capable of running a great business, and we're proud to have you in the neighborhood. Mr. Parker nodded in agreement. You've got a good head on your shoulders, kid. Keep up the good work. Malik beamed with pride. He'd faced challenges and overcome them with the help of his community. And now he was on his way to achieving his dream. As the summer went on, Malik's stand continued to grow in popularity. He started saving his earnings with plans to expand his business and maybe even open up a food truck one day. But no matter how big his business got, he never forgot the lessons he had learned about hard work, perseverance, and the importance of doing things the right way. Malik's story became an inspiration to others in Maplewood, especially young people who saw what he had accomplished and realized that they too could achieve their dreams with determination and a little help from their community. 
In the end, what had started as a small hot dog stand in front of his house had become much more. It was a symbol of resilience, a testament to the power of community support, and a reminder that even in the face of adversity, success is possible if you never give up. What challenges have you faced that seemed overwhelming at first but led to unexpected success? How did your community support you in your journey? Share your stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.